Hi, and welcome to Nick Whale Motorhomes. I'm Andy, and today I have the pleasure to inform you that we are now authorised dealers for Coachman Motorhomes. If you're not familiar with Coachman Motorhomes, then you're in for a treat. When most people think of quality built motorhomes, they tend to think German, and rightly so in most cases. The problem with Continental Motorhomes, for some people though, is the fixed dinette, or how should I put it? the unsympathetic layout for the UK climate and touring. So, if you wanted a real top-end coach-built motorhome with all the luxury and loungeability, not a real word, but I like it, of a UK-built unit, but want something with a top-of-the-range finish that would stand up against anything our German cousins can produce, then I may have the van for you. Or another way of putting it, the best of both worlds. This is the Coachman Travelmaster 565 and if you're not thinking wow you should be it's a striking looking machine built on the mercedes sprinter with a whopping 170 horsepower engine sitting on an alco chassis it has a nine speed automatic gearbox and a gross vehicle weight of 4500 kilograms the mass in running order is 3800 kilograms this gives you a very healthy payload of 700 kilograms more than enough for a family of four to tour for months on end. The TM565 has an overall length of 8.39 metres, a width of 2.47 metres and a height of 2.98 metres, including the habitation air conditioning unit. It has four berths and four travel seats. The travel seats are quite ingenious in not taking up all your lounge space and leaving you with a half dinette. You can see from the outside how much care and attention has been paid to the build. No sloppy mastic finish here. The emphasis again, which will keep coming up throughout this video, is attention to detail and quality. Come on, let's take a look inside. The cab is very open plan and spacious. So, what can I tell you about it? Well, first, it's a Merc, so it's incredibly well specced. How well I hear you say? Well, I can tell you that has an electronic stability control program, anti-lock braking, auto braking, attention assist, cruise control, crosswind control, a rain sensor, daytime running lights, and headlight assist. <sighs> Pause, take a breath, start again. Cab air conditioning, a 10 and a quarter inch touchscreen DAB Bluetooth media center, featuring Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and a sat nav system. This unit also houses the integrated reversing camera. We also have function controls on the steering wheel, built-in cab lines and electric heated mirrors. But what I really want to say is it's roomy. There's a large skylight above letting in plenty of natural light and storage lockers either side. The seats are extremely comfortable and we have a nice little coffee table just here on the passenger side. The lounge is very open plan with two side settees. As we've already seen, it also has the coffee table. The beauty of the lounge is the fact that it's so open with plenty of lounging space. Anyone who's toured the Lake District in November will tell you how essential this is. Now, this is the real difference between a continental design. No table, constantly edging around. No very upright seating, fine for dining, but spend three days sitting there while it's pouring down the rain outside. You'll be wishing for the settees then. Don't worry about there being no table. There's a standalone table for dining, which can also be used outside. Now, this is where we come to the four berths and four travel seats. The electric bed is integrated into the roof lining, giving it a flush feel and more headroom, which is the usual issue with drop downs. Not an issue for me though, standing at a mighty five foot six inches. The bed is a genuine double and can take 200 kilograms of weight. Dan, pass me the phone. Something I've got to show you here, because it's quite incredible for a drop down. Look at the amount of storage that you've actually got up here, but also you've got a double USB and a 230 volt socket. Absolutely ingenious. So that's the four berths, including the rear singles, which we'll come to in a minute. But what about the four travel seats? Well, we have the two captain seats, but the clever part though, is the side settee being behind the driver's seat. This can be turned into two forward facing travel seats when you're on the move. It's not a major job to convert. So let's do this. Now, just here, we take this piece out 
because this gives us a mechanism which I'll come to in a second but first of all we just need to remove the cushions for a second pop that one over there now with the base you'll see there's a groove just in here now when this spins around the seat cover swaps the other way but I'll show you that when we get to it so the first thing we have a mechanism just here so we need to pull that and just start bringing it around but not fully then in here there's a bar so we just pull that and slide this out then we can bring this further around now this is where like I say if it was up against the wall that would be at the back just there but what we want to do now is that groove wants to sit just on that bar there so that slides in there the backrest goes on now of course what you would do is you would bring your seat belts round but for this purpose we'll just pop that back on you do also have headrests one just here which again just pop in to the back it's incredibly simple and it's ingenious because you create all the space for living when you're parked in your setup but when you're traveling you have your forward facing seats absolutely brilliant the kitchen, again, is very UK spec and comes with the sort of equipment you'd expect in your own kitchen at home with features such as the full oven and grill, a microwave, a large 171 litre electric fridge with a separate freezing compartment and four hobs. Now, three of the hobs are gas, but you also have the electric hot plate too for when you're on hookup. There's also a good size sink, plenty of storage and good work service space too. The drawers are all soft clothes. Also at the bottom, this one holds a couple of bins. This cabinet holds the standalone table, which is just in here. So you don't have to worry about getting it out of the garage every time you want to use it. Heating and hot water are supplied by the Audi wet central heating and hot water system now this also incorporates an ags waterborne underfloor heating system let's not forget the water tanks here though both are protected by heated elements in the fresh and waste tanks meaning this motorhome has a fully winterized system for all year round use but while we're in this area of the motorhome it's also worth pointing out that the tv aerial and booster on this side and on the opposite side we have a 230 volt socket and a TV aerial point. Okay, I'm gonna give you a bit of technical information now. Now, I don't usually go this in depth on a video, but I feel it's important as it shows you how highly spec this motor home is. Now, these are just a few examples, but they are highly impressive examples. To start with, it has cross wind assist. In short, Cross wind assist system can minimize the lane displacement of a vehicle during critical wind conditions or when a large truck is passing you. It also has a rather interesting drainage system, which will allow you to drain down your waste tank and your fresh water, but retain 20% of your fresh water for while you're traveling. The shower tray has a pump fitted to help disperse the surface water in the tray faster. Shut this one up. Also, when you're driving, the van will preheat your boiler, so you have hot water quicker when you park up and put the water on to heat. Now, the way this van is built drastically reduces the likelihood of water ingress, and the temperatures the van can go down to are extraordinary. But you would expect that coming from Sweden and the harsh weather conditions you'll come up against in Scandinavia. But this motorhome also has a heat reflection system, meaning it will retain its heat far better in the winter but keep you cooler in the summer. Now, because the insulation is such a high standard, a side benefit of this is the sound insulation. Have a party in here and the neighbors will never know. While you're partying, take your shoes off. The Audi heating runs through the floor, so you have a lovely warm floor to walk around on. You'll never want to use your carpets or your shoes ever again. And don't worry about how to charge your phone up while you're blasting out those tunes. They also have given us a wireless phone charger, just in here. The bathroom is a very clever design with a separate 
domestic style square shower cubicle on this side and a swivel cassette toilet and wash basin in mirrored vanity unit on this side. The clever bit though is by shutting this door here it closes off from the main habitation area meaning if you want to go to bed early but the other people in the motorhome want to stay up late you still get your privacy and a decent night's sleep. The rear bedroom has that quintessential European feel with two singles above a large garage and a large central staircase between for easy access to both beds. There's excellent storage under both beds and both have their own storage area and the driver's side has a wardrobe at the bottom. The mattresses are extremely comfortable so you're pretty much guaranteed a good night's sleep. Also between both berths we have a 230 volt socket, USBs and your own light switches. Each berth also has its own reading light. Above we have the habitation air conditioning unit and a skylight. Now this is rare as you usually lose the skylight if you want the aircon unit. So when we look around the exterior of the TM565 you can see we have a large garage and this has access on both sides. We'll go into that in a bit more detail in a moment. Gas locker just here. We have your external aerial point and 230 just there. Gas barbecue point. Fridge vents here and here. Now you can see we've got this lovely big awning which has an LED light strip running right the length of it and we have another awning light just here of course as well. Fresh water fillet. Do not get that confused with the diesel that sits just behind here. They're very close and the really what you don't want to be doing is putting water in there or diesel in there. It can get quite expensive. As we walk round, obviously we have this nice star just here. Lovely set of alloy wheels. Premium windows, you can see they're all flush fitting. Cassette for your toilet, just here. Flue for your heating. Electric hookup point. As I said, the garage has access from both sides. And round the back, we have a very premium finish. And of course, at the top, we have your reversing camera. The garage is huge and has access from both sides. This is a real scooter garage with anchor points on the floor and ceiling. There's plenty of storage cubbies and access to your boiler, habitation batteries and trip switches. We also have an external shower just here, plug in the floor. Now, this garage, as I've already said, is huge. How many Andes could you fit in here? Well, let's see. I may not be the biggest, but that's a lot of Andes to fit in one place. This model comes incredibly well specced with features such as a 140 watt solar panel, external shower point, 170 horsepower, nine speed automatic gearbox, touchscreen media and nav unit, an awning, alloy wheels, Audi heating, the drop down electric bed, and the lounge travel seat options, to name just a few of the items in here. This is a great couples van for touring or family motorhome. You really could tour for months on end in this sort of quality. Now, for a full list of features on this model, please refer to the specification list on our website at nickwhale.com, or why not come and see it for yourselves? It is most definitely worth a view, and we really look forward to meeting you soon. Mm -hmm.